Now let's explore how crypto millionaires are made. Now before thinking about trading, you need to build yourself a portfolio that you're going to hold for a long time. If you take a look at Warren Buffett, George Soros, Paul Tudor Jones, Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, and all these guys, they're all purchasing crypto in 2021. And they're all holding everything they're purchasing. Now HODL simply means hold for dear life. They never sell, they let the profits grow, and time makes them a new profits if you hold for a long time. See it like this. In one week, a crypto coin could go up 10, 25%, but if you hold for five years, it can go 500% more. So the growth is much bigger the longer you hold it. That's how crypto works. And if you look at the billionaires and major corporations that are investing in crypto, they don't trade futures and they don't do leverage trading in the beginning. They buy and hold. Now, obviously, myself and probably all these guys, they also have a second portfolio that they use for trading. But just like anybody else, my biggest portfolio is the one that I'm holding on because I know that in the long term, I'm going to make a lot more profit than just buying and selling in short terms. Now, you might wonder which coins are good to hodl. Well, obviously, there's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. Soon, there will be Ethereum 2.0, Polygon, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, VeChain. These are all coins that have a utility and that will be there for a long time. So if you want to hold a portfolio, these are the main coins I suggest you to get. And in the long term, you'll see a very big growth. But most importantly, these coins will not disappear as soon as there's a little bear market that appears. So because they have utility, these coins are going to be around for a long time. And very important, you only want to invest what you can afford, especially if you're holding. And what I suggest is you never cash out anything for at least five years. This is how you'll make big profits. So this is why it's important that you only invest money you can afford. Let's sit for the next five years. What's fun about crypto is you could buy little by little as time goes by. And in time, this accumulates and makes you a lot of profits. Please move on to the next part of the training. Now, if there's one thing I'm guilty of and that I've done in the past myself was panic selling. Now, keep in mind, you cannot lose any money if you do not sell your coins. Here's why. It's the value of the coins that can go up and down. But the number of coins you have is what matters. So if you have 100 coins today, you're going to have 100 coins in one month from now or a year from now or in 10 years from now if you don't sell them. So all you need to do is wait that the price goes up before thinking of cashing out. And you'll never lose money as long as you invest in coins that have a utility and that are here to stay, such as, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum. There's plenty of coins that are here to stay. And the only way you could lose money is if you sell at a price lower than you paid for. So if you purchased here and the price went down and you sold there, for sure you're going to lose money. But if you just wait that the price goes back up, because what goes up must come down and what comes down must go up, you just need to be patient and wait that the price goes up to a price that you want to sell it at, where you could take a profit. In my opinion, people who do panic selling are people who cannot afford what they've invested. If you're in it for the long run, whether you wait one week, one month, or one year that the price goes back up, that's irrelevant if you can afford to let the money fluctuate. But one thing's for sure, and that's a, a hard lesson I learned, I never panic sell anymore. No matter what I see in social medias or on YouTube, I understood a long time ago that when things are done, they eventually go back up. So all you need to do is do like me and be patient when you see prices go down. And when prices go down, obviously, it's a good opportunity to buy the dip. Please move on to the next part of the training. Now let's talk about market manipulation and hype. So whether it's through news, social media, or whales that are trying to steal your crypto from you, always ignore market manipulation. And what I mean by this, you'll notice that sometimes there are big dips, like huge dips that are out of the ordinary. Well, most of the time it's because the news or social media said something negative about crypto. Or it's because it's a whale that's manipulating the market by talking against crypto just so that the prices can go lower and that they could buy for cheaper. Now, a lot of ma market manipulation is done through Bitcoin because this is where most investors put their money on. Now, the reason why they're manipulating the market is because there will 
only be 21 million Bitcoin, ever mind, and this creates a shortage right now. So in order for them to buy high volumes of coins, they need to force people to panic sell. So obviously when people see coins go down drastically like this, this is when most people panic sell. So it's important for you to ignore the dips and not sell your coins because it's going down. Because most of the time these big dips like that is due to market manipulation. Now if you're a long-term holder, this will not affect you because time will make you money. So what happens this week and next week doesn't matter if you want to hold for five years, right? So always, always ignore the FUD. Always ignore the big dips like that. Now obviously when there are big dips like that, you should be buying also. Keep in mind that these people, the big whales, when there are dips like that, they buy because they know that if they get it at a lower cost, eventually it's going to go back up and that's when they can take profits. And you should do the same too. But my point is, don't panic sell because you see big dips. Always ignore market manipulation. Now obviously, if you do day trading, you know, big dips like that could affect you. But as a long-term holder, it won't affect you. It's just going to give you opportunities to buy for lower cost. It's as simple as that. And just like any market, there will always be manipulation. But in my book, it gives you an opportunity to buy at a lower cost when it happens. Please move on to the next part of the training. Now, most people make the same mistake. They get in crypto when everybody's talking about it and prices are super high. But think about it for a second. When prices are super high, eventually things go down. So, as I was saying, most people, they get in when it's the highest and then they they see the value of their coins go down and then they panic sell. And that's when people lose money because when you sell is the only time you can actually lose money. So ideally what you want to do is buy when there's a dip, when things go down. Now when things go down, it's not a bad sign. You should take it as a discount. That's when you could buy for cheaper, right? So buying the dip is always the best thing to do. Now. Let's say this week, next week, and the week after you have a bit of money to invest. Well, you just need to wait for dips. So let's say there's a dip right here and you buy. Eventually, it's going to go back up. Now you're going to say, yeah, but here, look here a little bit further. It went back down. Yeah, that's what happens with crypto, right? It goes up and down. So what goes down must go back up. But the thing is, if you buy the dips every time or as much as you can, that's when the compounding will take place. So let's say you bought the dip here, 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 and you bought the dip here, right? So when it's going to go back up to 65,000 and more, well, all the dips you bought are going to be profitable. Now, if you only buy when the price is high and you wait, for sure it's going to go back down. It's always normal that when it reaches a certain high, that the price goes back down. That's what we call a correction. So once the correction is done, then it either goes back up or down. And that's valid for long-term holding or trading. I mean, if you buy the dip and you trade, you sell when it goes back higher to what you purchased for, then you make a profit, right? So whether you're long-term holding or whether you're trading, always buy the dip. Never buy when the prices are high or at their highest, I could say. So me, I buy when I see lots of red. I know it's counterintuitive, but this is what big investors do. And they do it on purpose sometimes to even crash the market so that they could buy for cheaper, right? So if you want to make money like the big players do, you got to think the same way. So always buy the dip. Never buy when the prices are going up. Please move on to the next part of the training. 